Welcome back, family and friends. And today, got an unboxing of March 2017 Cryptocurrent Partial Terror. Just one of my favorite subscription service boxes. I love it because it's all like handcrafted horror theme related items. So let's get into the March 2017. Don't know what year it is. It's 2017 Partial Terror. Get old fly monster here. Gonna get into the spots. And if anybody is interested in a partial tear of their own, link will be in the description of the video. Go over there and get it shipped to you. You won't be disappointed if you like artwork and if you love horror. Here's the spoiler sheet. Gives you a description of all the items. Put that down for now. And got a little bag. See what this is. Oh, <laughs> check this out. Look at that. It's a little drawstring uh, tote bag. It says, Every day is Halloween. I believe this is the mystery item for the month. Because if you don't know, Partial Terror, most months it is. Uh, Jason McKittrick reveals the items and there are a few mystery items sometimes and this is the mystery item for this month so he reveals the items he believes you should see the quality of the items you're getting and then you can subscribe and every now and again he'll do a complete mystery box but this is the one mystery item for this month that's a cool image very nice Halloween vibe to it with the black and orange and I like the uh, Pumpkin with the bat wings. That is kind of like uh, Jason McKittrick trademark or Cryptocurium trademark or something. But it really looks a lot like the wall plaque right up there. I don't know if y'all can see it out of frame or not. Probably can't. It's just out of frame right there. But it looks just like this. But it's the wall plaque. So that's cool. Get a fun bag. I'll store some stuff in here. And I actually have a tote bag that he made with Cthulhu on it, it says Cryptocurium and I use that to store all my wall plaques when I move them and things like that so I'll put definitely make good use of this I'm trying to not look even though I kind of know it's in here because like I said it reveals the items every month here's a fun really poppy vibrant neon 80s colors motel hell which is a really cool slasher film from back in the day I haven't seen it in a very long time i need to see it again as i know it's very well done and it gets a lot of praise and it doesn't get a lot of collectibles for it so look at that very reminiscent of those you know i don't know was it 60s black light photos that's pretty cool. Let me get it really close. There you go. I like how you got the little heads at the bottom. That is cool. It's nice to get a nice color print. Because a lot of times the prints are... Well, we do have a lot of color ones, but this one's really vibrant. I love it. Next up. Ha ha ha. We got the little keychain, one of the sculpted items for this month. And I believe this is Chud, which is another great underrated horror film from the, I think it's mid 80s, late 80s. There you go. Look at that. Chud, little keychain. Really good details on that. Nice solid resin. I like them beady eyes because he's an underground dweller. And speaking of which, I just bought the movie. I actually got it up here in my stack of movies to watch. There it is. It's the Arrow video release of Chud. So it's cool to see a Chud item in a partial of terror. Which Chud means uh, cannibalistic underground... No, cannibalistic humanoid underground dweller. That's your chud. And I actually got the part two right here. The Vestron video just came out. Part two, bud the chud. 
All right, moving along so I get sidetracked. I really like that. That is cool. I'll hang that up here with someone who sculpted the keychains from before. I got the little decal for the month. Sutter Kane in the Mouth of Madness. Great film. Great film. Do you read Sutter Kane? In the Mouth of Madness is a great just screw with your mind kind of film. Really cool. I guess that's maybe a recreation of the post art or something like that. But it got the like creatures on there. That's cool. Gladly slap that up here on the old chimney up there. And what else we got here? Oh, here we go. Some of my favorite items every month from the partial tear. This is the Stranger Things. Demogorgon Sculpted Magnet. Look at this, baby. Look at all those teeth. There you go. Check that out. I'll give you a scan there. That is awesome. I like those teeth. There's like a void there. He's all raring to go. Suck somebody in his mouth. <laughs> and Demogorgon pin Magnet. From Stranger Things. Just a wonderfully, wonderfully throwback style show, retro show. Speaks to my 80s heart. If you haven't watched that on Netflix, please go do it. And it's got a wonderful soundtrack as well. The Demogorgon. Okay, where are we going here? I got a gummy candy. I got a foot. <laughs> uh, it's a gummy body parts candy. This is like a little foot. Can't really tell. It's in the package there, but it's like a little foot. I'll gladly eat that up. It's a cannibal theme a little bit going on with Chud. And Motel Hell. Okay. Jason. I got smart. And I believe this is the last item for the month. Yes, it is. No more items in the box. But check this out. It's wonderful. This is the second in the series of the... Edgar Allan Poe wall plaques sculpted with Jason McKittrick's own two hands. Wow, this is a doozy too. It's a really nice paint on this. Great detail on the anatomically correct part right there. And this is uh, the Telltale Heart, I believe. But look at that. I'll get it in a little closer. get a lot of shine from my lights here but got some nice depth to it the floorboards and the heart pretty cool just a great paint job on that great paint job that is wonderful all right let's go through the through the spoiler sheet here if you find a bloody jack stamp on the lid of your box speaking of which I believe that's the Bloody Jack. This image right here, the bat pumpkin with the bat wings, the jack o' lantern with the bat wings. If that's ever on the inside of your box here, you win a special variant edition of something. So let's see what it is. If you find a Bloody Jack stamp on the inside of your box, you've won, you've got one of five stone finished variants Telltale Heart wall plaques. So you get a different paint job, different variant paint job on the wall plaque for the month. For the month. Speaking of which, first item. Hold it up and I'll read it. The Telltale, wall, Telltale Heart wall plaque. I made up my mind to take my life of the old man and thus rid myself of the eye forever. A depiction of the beating heart under the floorboards that drives the killer to confess his crime. Cast the style original envision, hand painted, ready to hang. Got your latch right there on the back. And that's wonderful. I mean, nice. I gotta find this for Edgar Allan Poe. And I already took down my previous wall plaques and started hanging up my Edgar Allan Poe ones up there. So that's gonna go up there next to the 
mask of the Red Death right there. Wonderful. All right, we got the solder cane. In the mouth of madness decal. In the mouth of madness sticker. Do you read solder cane? You gotta say it like that. When you say do you read solder cane, you gotta say do you read solder cane? A recreation of the novel, of the final novel by Solder Kane from the cult hit by John Carpenter. So that is a recreation of a, the novel cover, I think, maybe, that's in the film. Maybe. I'm not sure, but it's cool. And that movie is awesome. Definitely a mind screw. Alrighty, next up, the Demogorgon Magnet. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Egos, the faceless killer that stalks both the upside down and the real world. Casting solid resin with two magnets on the back. That sucker is just out to get somebody in the upside down or in the real world. Really look forward to Stranger Things Series 2. I mean, Season 2. Does anybody else? Hope so, because it's awesome. And this magnet is fantastic. Going to display it proudly right there with the other uh, madness of magnets I got. The horde. Alrighty. Next up, we got the Chud Keychain. Right there. Nice little hook there to hang it on your king keys on. Let's see if I can get it so you can see it. Alright. Chud Keychain. Add some toxicity to your key key ring with one of the formerly human mutated underdwellers of New York City cast in solid resin and individually hand painted of course if you haven't seen Chud it's pretty cool nice throwback 80s horror which doesn't get much attention so thank you very much Jason for a Chud item next up we got the Motel Hell print Just a wonderful print there. A tribute to the 1980 pig mask wearing, chainsaw wielding, comedy slasher flick, Motel Hell, by guest artist Nick Gucker. See more of Nick's work at nickthehat.com. That's nice. I gotta track down a copy of that and see that again soon. I like to get it on, you know, a nice Blu ray copy. Anybody know where I can get that? Maybe Screen Factory has it. That'd be awesome. Alrighty, and yes, the mystery item for the month was the every every day is Halloween tote bag. Every day is Halloween backpack. Show your love for the best holiday with this winged jack o' lantern and blazed sling backpack. That was a really nice little image there. Definitely going to do some of that because I have tons of stuff to store and display. Sometimes I bring it back out and display it and move it around. and you know I'm always changing this room up. So that was Cryptocurium for March 2017. As always, all these sculpted items are fantastic. That wall plaque is top notch. Jason, you, you're a damn genius at your craft. So everybody, thanks for watching, you geeky neighbor. Like, comment, subscribe. What did you think of these items? Please visit CryptoCarium.com and click on Partial Terror and subscribe. It's $35 flat, shipped to your door every month. Personal, handcrafted by artists. All put together from a mind of a true artist. So visit our website. Link will be in the description below. Tell them your geeky neighbor sent you. <laughs> Everybody like, comment, subscribe. Bye.